Sony, arguably one of the biggest consumer electronics manufacturers, startled everyone as they ventured into the world of automobiles when they revealed their prototype car, Sony Vision S, at Consumer Electronics Show, or CES. It was rumored to be only a testing bed, but however, on-road testing footage at its Tokyo headquarters has raised some eyebrows. Does the Vision S possess the specs or performance to beat the Teslas? Let's find out. The Consumer Electronics Show, or CES as it's known globally, held every January, is the global stage for innovation, a platform to launch products, engage with global brands, and define the future of the tech industry. Such was the case at CES 2020 for the automobile fans. As the show went on, people attending CES, and the ones following along online, were with an amazing lineup. The lineup includes giants like Mercedes-Benz revealing their Avatar-inspired concept car Vision Avatar, and Lamborghini showcased the latest Huracan that was equipped with Alexa. New entrants in the electric vehicle world, like the Russian-based Yandex, have demoed its self-driving tech with the Toyota Prius sedans kitted out with the system. Fisker revealed its all-new all-electric SUV called the Ocean as well. Byton also revealed its M-Byte electric SUV, which comes with a massive 48-inch display inside the cabin and is expected to go on sale later this year. However, the biggest surprise by far was when Sony rolled up in their pretty, functioning concept car, the Vision S. The Sony Vision S is an all-electric concept sedan that was developed by Sony and first unveiled at the 2020 Consumer Electronics Show. It was designed in collaboration with various automotive companies, including Magna International, Continental AG, Electrobit, Ventilar, and Bosch. Featuring the company's latest technologies related to the automotive sector, such as always-on connectivity, sensory devices, and autonomous driving. The Vision S. To make the concept car, Sony has partnered up with companies like NVIDIA and Bosch for the software, and it's been confirmed by Sony CEO that the transmission system has been developed by Magna Stair. The key goal of the Vision S is to showcase Sony's automotive-relevant technology. It has 33 sensors of varying types embedded within it. These can identify people and objects, both inside and outside of the car, as part of Sony's safety cocoon. They include CMOS image sensors, which Sony claims offer high definition and high dynamic range while suppressing LED flicker, and solid-state LiDAR. Inside, the Vision S features several time-of-flight, or TOF, in-car sensors that can detect and recognize people within to optimize infotainment and comfort systems. Inside, a panoramic touchscreen is built into the dashboard, accompanied by Sony's 360 Reality Audio. The Vision S has a dual-motor setup with two 200-kilowatt electric motors and all-wheel drive. Sony claims the car can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, or 0 to 62 miles per hour, in 4.8 seconds, and the top speed is rated at 240 kilometers per hour, or 149 miles per hour. A double wishbone suspension is used with an air spring system. The concept also features AI, telecommunication, and cloud technology, all accessed via a large panoramic touchscreen that dominates the dashboard, which Sony says is operated via an intuitive user interface. The infotainment panel is throughout the dash system, consisting of three huge touchscreens. For ease in navigation across the touchscreens, the car is equipped with a trackball located generally where a manual stick shifter would be placed. The animations of these menus were fluid, clever, and just overall excellent. For instance, a quick L swipe at the top left of the middle screen moved whatever was currently on display to the passenger screen, an interaction that felt deeply satisfying. There is also more than one way to interact with the user interface. A separate trackpad extends out from the center console, and this can be used to tap through menus and is capable of multi-touch gestures. It's also where the driver and passenger can change the car's climate control settings. And below that was a big silver dial dedicated to volume control and could also serve other purposes. The rear passenger also gets to enjoy this plethora of entertainment devices as the car is installed with two more touchscreens attached to the back of the driver and co-driver seats. Sony wants every passenger to make the most of this selection and has also provided every passenger with its own set of speakers placed at the rear of the headset. To top all this off, Sony has pre-installed all Sony movies and music within the car. The car is rumored to have a price tag of $40,000 to $50,000. The specs regarding this range, charging rate, and more have not been released by Sony. 
The specs are not at Tesla Model S or Tesla Roadster levels, but the acceleration and top speed are on par with the Tesla Model 3. Sony's Long-Term Game Plan Establishing a company in a high-risk, high-reward kind of industry is always a tough call. A company has to certainly hope for the best but prepare for the worst. All the luck in the world sometimes isn't enough to keep a company ashore. During the automobile sector crisis of 2008 to 2011, renowned brand names went bankrupt. For example, Hummer, Pontiac, and Saturn. On the flip side, with the correct timing and business plan, several companies skyrocketed their stocks in a short amount of time, and the epitome of this being Tesla. With the emergence of electronic and autonomous vehicles, which in principle are run by a software brain, it is no surprise that various tech companies are trying to enter the market. The best way to do this is by investing in a startup already working on it. A prime example of a startup being Rivian. Rivian announced in February 2019 a $700 million funding round led by Amazon. More deals and investments would follow, including a $500 million investment from Ford, along with a promise to collaborate on a future EV program and a $350 million investment by Cox Automotive in September. The company closed the year with an announcement that it had raised a $1.3 billion round led by funds and accounts advised by T. Rowe Price Associates, Inc., with an additional participation from Amazon, Ford Motor Company, and funds managed by BlackRock. Marching along the same line, Sony has invested a whopping $5.3 billion in their autonomous project Vision S. Sony, which is a giant of consumer electronics, is already a company leading in terms of manufacturing image sensors. Moore's Law, a historic trend rather than a physics law, famously states that the number of transistors on a microchip doubles every two years, though the cost of computers is halved. However, with the nature of high-level, high-speed computing that is expected of these chips and transistors, the law doesn't hold its ground. Sony has realized this, and instead of entering the automobile industry, has started creating its domination in such auxiliary industries. The increase in the use of these technologies is becoming inevitable, making it a perfect time for startups to enter the market. Sony, however, is no startup, being well-established through their PlayStations and other consumer electronics products. It's a no-brainer for them to capitalize on this situation. To distribute flawless sensors that will hold up for their performance in the actual world, a mere box with sensors mounted to it won't cut it. The Vision S was birthed by Sony to become the perfect test bed for their multiple sensors. By collaborating with several companies, Sony was able to make the concept car a reality. The testing videos are proof of Sony's intention to be the spearhead in the image sensor market. Final verdict. Although Sony hasn't made the Vision S a production model as of now, it has the potential to be one of the best luxury EVs with an ample on-track performance. At this point, it cannot compete with Tesla as a production car, but Sony has made a statement when it comes to sensor technology. This could force many companies to rethink their plan to produce sensors in-house and outsource it to Sony. With the Vision S, Sony is hoping to be the bridge that turns self-driving cars from science fiction into science reality while taking in the profits as an industry leader in self-driving car technology. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks!